If you haven't done it already, make your own copy of Rabbit Sheets. Go up to File and make a copy. Name your file something meaningful to you. Maybe give it your rabbitry name. Next, go to the tab that's named Select Lists. Copy the URL of your application that's in the address bar and paste it into cell B5. When you hover your mouse over the yellow cell with the red letters in it, there will be a little pop-up that says you need to allow permissions for the tabs to communicate with each other. So click on the blue button that says allow when it appears. As you can see, the connection process is now complete and all of the tabs in the sheet are communicating with each other. This allows the data that we have in our rabbits list tab to be accessed by the other tabs to create pedigrees. Enter each name in a pedigree into the database only once. If you have rabbits that have the same ancestors, enter those ancestors into the database only once. Do not enter them again each time you put a new rabbit into the database. Give each new entry in the database a unique ID number. You can enter Siren Dam ID numbers manually by looking them up on your list or you can use the autocomplete form. Go to the drop down menu at the far left and select Parents. And now we can see that the parents we selected have been automatically entered into the line for our new rabbit. Perhaps we've manually entered the ID numbers, but we don't want to be bothered with manually entering the Siren Dam's names. If we go to the far left drop down menu and select update, then the script will run in the background and type in the Siren Dam's names for us. And here you can see it's the Sire's name and the Dam's name that are associated with records number 1 and 12. Each rabbit in the database must be given a unique ID number. You can give the numbers manually or you can let the script assign them automatically.
to have a rabbit's name appear in the selection drop-down list for pedigree display, just go to the rabbit's list tab, find that rabbit's row, and type a number 1 in the column that's lettered T. For printing pedigrees, either on paper or as PDF files, use your cursor to select the parts of the page that you want to include. I like to keep copies as PDF files on my Google Drive. That way, when I need them, I can get them from anywhere. All rabbits that have a number one typed in column B on the rabbits list tab will appear on the tab that's named current herd.